The medical fraternity is tonight questioning Kenya's preparedness in protecting its frontline soldiers against the coronavirus after a doctor in Kisi County was suspended. The doctor is said to have refused to attend to a patient exhibiting COVID-19 like symptoms without protective gear for fear of being exposed a move his seniors in the county did not take lightly. Also, the county is said to have thrown intern doctors out of the county premises. Globally, thousands of health care givers have been exposed to the fast-spreading virus, with Italy reporting 55 deaths among doctors. And Oxycolia reports. By the time an elderly woman exhibiting symptoms of a respiratory infection walked into his consultation room, the now under fire doctor knew the risks of attending to her without protection. Dreaded by the hacking sound tormenting coronavirus patients across the globe, the doctor at the Kisi Teaching and Referral Hospital asked for an N95 mask. When it wasn't made available, the medic refused to attend to the patient, a move that has put his job on the line. The hospital head says he may be dismissed. The decision by the facility CEO has not gone well with the Kenya Medical Practitioners and Dentist Union, KMPDU, and the medical fraternity. When these people are not protected, what are we doing? One, we are exposing them to the public unknowingly, right? They have families they go to. Number two, they have communities in which they live in. And number three, when they get sick, they need to be taken care of by this system which is already constrained. Are you seeing how that is a cycle? According to KMPDU Secretary General Chibanzi Machonda, the role of a hospital manager is to support a health worker. And when there is concerns about their working conditions and safety, then they need to be listened to. Healthcare professionals globally have used the language of war to describe the struggle against the COVID-19. A viral disease that has left hospitals and healthcare systems on the brink of collapse. Even though Kenya is yet to have a confirmed case of doctors or healthcare workers infected with coronavirus, the thinning of doctors and nurses is already happening. According to reports, close to 15 healthcare workers are in quarantine. My colleagues, my friends who've been uh, quarantined because of coming into contact, then if we remove any number out of the group that is supposed to be helping out, then we have a problem. And we are already accumulating ventilators in our hospitals. We are importing ventilators uh, from uh, uh, many parts of the world. As you are well aware yourself, there is a shortage of ventilators across. According to the KMPDU, the Kisi case is a perfect example of just how Kenyan soldiers against the pandemic have been left exposed. The doctors' union says even though the slightly more than 5,000 protective gears have been distributed to centers with active coronavirus cases, they are not enough. And given the increasing number of positive cases each passing day, KMPDU says Kenyan figures could hit a thousand by mid-April. According to Machonda, if that happens, then Kenya could be staring at a crisis, and especially if healthcare workers become part of statistics. 30% of the infections are, within, are among healthcare workers. 30%. And up to 10% of healthcare workers are dying. But in this country, if you get infected, 30% of us will be doctors. But that means that I'm at a 0.3 probability of getting sick. For every 10 patients, amongst them healthcare workers, 3% of them are getting sick are healthcare workers. With European taps for protective gears now dry owing to the pandemic, Dr. Bosiri wants the government to enhance local production capacities. We are now at a place where we believe that starting next week, we can actually be able to start manufacturing those materials ourselves. Our textile sector has confirmed that they have capacity to be able to make uh, the uh, PPEs. And we are in conversations also with our <clears throat> motor sector to see if they can also make some of these uh, ventilators. They've not had to do it in the past, but they have that capacity. So we are confident. Enoxicolia, Citizen TV.